Seattle Super Readers. I'm Superintendent Denise Juno, and welcome back to my Book of the Month Club. As you've probably already discussed in class or at home, February is Black History Month. Black History Month is an annual celebration of African American and Black achievements and excellence, as well as a time for recognizing that Black history is American history, and it should be taught and celebrated year round. While this month is nationally recognized, Seattle Public Schools celebrates and centers black excellence every single day. Black excellence can be seen across our district in the inherent brilliance of our students, educators, staff, and community. While we celebrate and learn about black history and culture, our district also strives to build safe and welcoming environments where black students can thrive every day. Before we start reading, I want to introduce you to a special guest of mine who is joining us virtually for this month's Read Aloud. I want you to meet Fred Podesta, Chief Operations Officer at Seattle Public Schools. Fred does so many things for our schools and students, like making sure students have delicious and nutritious meals to eat, keeping our buildings and playgrounds in top shape, and ensuring students get to and from school safely. Welcome, Fred. Thank you, Superintendent Juno, and thank you all for having me here to read with you today. Sometimes life can get a little busy and we don't always have time to sit down and read a good book. I'm glad we can take some time to slow down and read together. What book are we reading this month? This month's book is I Am Every Good Thing, written by Derek Barnes and illustrated by Gordon C. James. As with their other books, Derek and Gordon shine a spotlight on young black boys and their brilliance and their excellence. It reminds us all that black boys and teens in Seattle Public Schools really are every good thing. Are you ready? Let's get reading, super readers. Today we're reading I Am Every Good Thing by Derek Barnes and Gordon C. James. Sometimes at the beginning of a book on the jacket, this is called a jacket, there's a little words, and I thought this was important to touch base on today. It says, let's hear it for everything that makes you the amazing, awesome, inspiring kid you are. Your curiosity and creativity, your bravery and kindness, your sense of humor and fun, your ability to get up again when you get knocked down, your way of helping others, yeah, you are all that and more. You are every good thing that makes this world go around. So go ahead and show us your magnificence, all the things that make you, you. And that's really just a good theme to have in mind as we read this book. It really is about what do you bring? Who are you? How do you define yourself? How do you talk about yourself? And how do others talk about you? And when you fall, are you getting back up and brushing yourself off? I am a non-stop ball of energy. Powerful and full of light. I am a go-getter, a difference maker. A leader. And see, he's also a Seattle super reader with his cape. And so think about words that you use to describe yourself. I am every good thing that makes the world go round. You know, like gravity, or the glow of moonbeams over a field of brand new snow. I am good to the core, like the center of a cinnamon roll. Yeah, that good. You look around you into your world and at the environment and your neighborhood. What makes you feel really good? And how can you make sure that you are also embodying that um, in your daily life? I am skateboard tricks, scraped knees and elbows. But you know what? I am right back on my feet again. And that's really the part about sometimes we don't feel good about ourselves or we get knocked down and we may be hurt, but getting back up and trying it again and practicing and getting through it is very, very important and it builds self-confidence and you get way better at the things that um, you fail at when you, when you step up and do it again. I am one eye open, one eye closed, peeking through a microscope, gazing through a telescope and checking out the spaces around me and plotting those far off places I have yet to go but will. This really is about what are your dreams for the future? You know, oftentimes people ask us, what do you want to be when you grow up? And this is really the time when you can discover, explore, think about all those things, and then set your mind to accomplishing all your hopes and dreams. Um, so really take this time when you're in school, even virtually, to think about what it is you want to do. I am a gentleman and a scholar. I am kind and polite, like yes ma'am and yes sir. 
helping my grandmother across the street, and saying bless you when a stranger has to sneeze. These types of things also define the kind of person you are. And what I talked about earlier, what you project into the world, you know, when you are respecting your elders, when you're being kind to strangers, that reflects very, very well on you. And so think about how you're going to make some time to maybe um, call somebody you haven't talked to for a while or connect with one of your friends in the chat room and tell them good things about themselves because what you do and what you project into the world will also project onto you. I am a cool breeze, a perfect paper airplane that glides for blocks. For miles, forever. And so think about that too, just like sometimes you just feel really good about what you're doing and you can just feel like a paper airplane on, on the wind um, going for miles. I am a roaring flame of creativity I am a lightning round of questions, and I'm a star-filled sky of solutions. I am an explorer, planting a flag on every square foot of this planet where I belong. I am a sponge, soaking up information, knowledge, and wisdom. I want it all, and I am all ears. And so this is where you can really soak up information from everybody and every situation around you. So think about um, the learning that you're doing, and not just in the classroom, but you know when you're interacting with your family, with your friends, all the situations where um, it offers you new experiences, new conversations, it allows you to think about things in a different way, all of those are important to, depend, to um, learn who you are and who it is that you want to become. I am Saturday mornings in the summertime. I am two bounces and a front flip off the diving board. I am hilarious. I am the life of the party. I am that smile forming on your face right now. Some of us are really gifted at telling jokes and being funny, um, and some of us are really good at being audiences for people who are funny. And so think about how, you know, summertime also brings the sun and the pool time, um, playing with all your friends. And I know all of us can't wait to get back to um, that situation as well, um, but these are all the things that you are. I'm the boom bap, boom boom bap, when the bass line thumps and the kick drum jumps. I'm the perfect beat, the perfect rhyme, keeping everything on point and always on time. But you already knew that. I'm a grand slam, bases fully loaded. I'm a nasty two-handed dunk, holding on to the rim, just to remind you that I'm still the man. Believe that. I am the undisputed champion. I am a highlight reel of magnificence. I am the celebration, the applause, and the standing ovation. I am victory. And that's as far as we're going to read for today. But I want you to think about all the things that you are, and all the things that your friends are, and what you are projecting into the world, and who it is that you want to become. That's really what this book is about, is helping you be empowering yourself, empowering others, and um, just being a really good person. Thank you so much for joining us. Super readers. I bet you can guess what your next mission is. That's right. We want you to finish the book on your own to see how it ends. You can find this book and other great books at your school library, your local library, or online through Seattle Public Library's library link, which can be accessed using your student ID. And as always, keep on reading, super readers. If you enjoyed I Am Every Good Thing, check out these other great book recommendations. For elementary school readers, Black is a Rainbow Color by Angela Joy, The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander, Bunheads by Misty Copeland, Hair Love by Matthew A. Cherry, Saturday by Ogimora, and for you more advanced readers, Claudette Colvin, Twice Towards Justice by Philip Hoos, March by John Lewis, Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant, Pride by Ibi Zoboy, your school librarian can help you find these books at your school library or at curbside pickup. Seattle Public School students can access the entire Seattle Public Library book catalog online. Visit spl.org forward slash library link to learn more.